There's so much in the world we talk about the matrix and I suppose like escaping the matrix of human design is important so that we can embrace what is the divine design. What is the reality of life itself? The reality of the cosmic love story that we are taking part in. There is a uh, part of me that is coming to know more and more this reality of holding the space of the great mother. We may call it the spirit of the womb as it relates to attunement. But the spirit of the great mother to me is the capacity that we all have, that we're all born with. We have it in us. It is part of our spiritual nature to be able to hold what is sacred in an atmosphere where it can um, be birthed, where it can grow. And oftentimes in the individual experience, I think we all can relate to this on some level when we find ourselves in our lives in a place of um, uh, maybe feeling resentment or life is unfair or this relationship isn't going so well or that relationship isn't going so well. And we can get stirred up by what's happening in the outer manifestation of life. And every single time when I find myself getting caught up in that, I remember the truth of who I am and turn back to receive something higher than what this human um, intellect or maybe something higher than where my emotional realm is at the time. I turn to that and allow something to happen in myself so that I can then again show up as this um, divine feminine atmosphere for myself and my world. I want to read a little piece here from, uh, it's from the translation of the New American Bible, and it's one that we've all heard. It's from Corinthians, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, 1 through 6. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all the mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I owned and if I hand my body over so that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. We are the truth when we are really in that space within ourselves, when we're in that orientation, attunement with life, with the one, the one love. And when we will look at those qualities of love, are there ever times when I'm impatient? Yes. Are there are times when I'm maybe unkind? Absolutely. <laughs> But what I know and, and is that I am in process. I am in process of fulfilling the great cosmic love story of allowing the truth of who I am to emerge in this human experience, the truth of the angel that I am, the power that I am, the great mother that I am, the light that I am to come into this world. I'm in process as we all are. And so this is the, the, the spiritual matrix is when we all begin to light up. When I light up, I encourage others to do the same. When you light up, when you let 
the truth of who you are to actually come in to this life, we know what to do. We become wiser. We become more patient. We become divine right here in the human experience. And this is the cosmic love story. We are the divine mother. Holding space for what is beautiful, joyful, profound, whole to come in and to be birthed, right? That's why we're here. And so I love this consideration as we we're tapping into, we're starting to feel what's coming, this the holy days of all the various religions. But the re reality is, is that there is something being called into being. The Christ spirit, that one that is who we truly are to come into this world in ever greater ways. And it feels like we're doing this together. And so I'm just so grateful to be in this with all of you, to know who I am, to know who you are, and to take part in this great cosmic love story and allow what's true to be born. So thank you, thank you.